Now that we've gone over what the rc.ini file really does and the different steps involved and what we can use as far as file masking, let's do it in practice as far as using the rc.ini file ourselves. So going to Tools, RC, we can go and we can see that there's a file here and it just says RC. And what we want to do is we want to open this with Notepad++. Looking at this, we can see that we have platforms, and then down here we have something called preset aliases. Aliases came about as far as not only inside of the RC compiler, but also Flowgraph. And this is where people get tripped up because they're used to seeing a name that has changed over the time, and they don't understand why it's not there anymore. And if you were to look at the preset aliases, which are all of these right here, you would notice the biggest one, Diffuse, is now called Albedo. This has tripped up a lot of people, and that's where it's actually creating the switch. So going down, we can see that we have albedo, and we go down more, we have reflectance, we have normals with smoothness. These are all things that people use daily. So it says DDNA, DDN, this is the legacy version, spec, diff, and when it says diff, these are the file masks that I had talked about before. And people just think that they stick underscore D-I-F-F -F down, so it's just, they can relate to it. They know it's there. But what it's really doing is when you press the Save As button with Crytiff, it's looking at the file mask that you declared and automatically selecting the proper preset. So let's go ahead and try something different and make our own preset. So I'm going to copy the albedo. And let's rename this to, I will make it my name. So I've changed both of them to Colin. And it looks for the file mask named Colin. So if I press Control S, I should be able to trigger a preset that is exactly the same as Albedo, but it will come up as Colin. Going inside of Photoshop, we'll keep the albedo as it is. Let's make sure our mode is set to 8. I don't want to have 16 in RGB color. And I'm going to save as. And we can save it to our desktop. And we'll call this one barrel underscore colon. And now let's go select our Crytiff plugin. And I'm going to press save. And you'll notice that it now selects the preset Albedo with gener generic alpha. But it also has Colin in here. So it's triggering both of these. It's saying that the Albedo with generic alpha is what it's defaulting to. But if you want to have Colin, which you declared inside of the any file, we have that as well. And both will work. And this is how you can customize your presets or customize the file masking that you use within your own company to your own liking. So if I press generate output and then I press OK, I can come out here and I can see that it's now saved as barrel colon on both of them. And that's how you use presets and file masking to drive the different texture maps that you have.